Gaza, a strip of land just 41 kilometres long and 12 kilometres wide, is home to 2 million people. The enclave is one of the most densely populated places in the world. With limited space, one would assume that property would be at a premium. But as Nizar Sadawi reports, in Gaza, this isn't the case. Basil Hothot has been working and saving for years to buy an apartment in Gaza. He's engaged and wants he and his bride to have their own home. But the search for it has been frustrating and fruitless. I went to buy an apartment for myself today, but the owner of the building asked me to pay the full amount in cash, but I can't pay the full amount. I don't have enough cash to buy an apartment and pay full price. Real estate is bad business for both buyers and sellers in Gaza. But it didn't used to be that way. At one time, agents could sell to families, Palestinian business people, and professionals with lucrative jobs abroad. But Israeli attacks and the suffocating blockade of the Palestinian enclave have devastated the sector and put many agents out of business. There's no profit like the past. Today, our economy is crippled and there is unemployment and a severe blockade. Our situation is getting worse and worse. Israel's blockade has restricted most trade and kept people from leaving and entering Gaza. As a result, jobs have disappeared. 70% of Gazans live in poverty, and economists say property sales today are only 10% of what they were in 2010. Just a few years ago, a 150-square-meter apartment in an upscale Gaza neighborhood could cost up to $100,000. The same flats would go for half that amount now. But the steep price drops haven't translated into bigger sales. One reason is that Gazans fear their new properties could be bombed by Israel. Since Hamas took power in Gaza in 2007, its people have lived through four large-scale Israeli military operations. They've destroyed thousands of buildings, and only an estimated 40% of homes have been repaired or rebuilt. Gazans now tend to buy property in remote residential areas or apartments in buildings built by countries such as Qatar. They believe international ownership reduces the chances of these buildings being bombed. The political situation does not encourage citizens to buy or even invest. The situation does not allow us to do so because we may go through a war at any time. Why put my money into a project and then regret it? A lot of people who lost their houses in Israeli offensives are still waiting for compensation they may never get. They fear if they put their money in a property that could be destroyed in a new war, they will be left out in the cold. Nizar Sadawi, TRT World, Gaza.